What's up everyone, Benny here from Crypto Catch Up. Just doing a video for you on the Blockfolio tracking application for crypto. It is one of the OG tracking applications for crypto. It's been around long before Delta came into the picture. However, it doesn't have anywhere near as fancy of a user interface. Uh, it is very basic on that front. However, as far as I'm concerned, if the value is going up and my digits are ticking over, happy bloody days. Um, so what we'll do first, guys, is get into this and show you this application. Uh, like usual, let's just jump in and show you where you can download that from. So you've got the Blockfolio app there. Make sure you get it from Blockfolio LLC. I'd hate to see anyone out there getting jibbed by some, um, you know, less than kind people out there in the world. Uh, obviously, this is Android. Make sure you get it from the same people in Apple um, or maybe even on Windows Phone if they support that. Probably not because it's rubbish, but hey, you never know. So the first thing when you open up the Blockfolio application, for anyone that's never used it before, there is a tutorial. Uh, so I'm just going to jump through some menus quickly just to get back to that tutorial for you guys. So it looks like this. So it just says, get started. We go through shows you where you can add a coin there, add a coin there, how to sync for any new coins that might have been added to their application, uh, and obviously the highlighted areas let you know the different information on the screen, which we'll cover for you now. So when you come into it also, there'll be four or five coins already preloaded for you. I've removed them just so we can add them one by one to make sure you're across everything. So the first thing, let's go over this home page in the menu bar up the top, and then we'll get right into adding some coins in. So the first thing I'll say here, guys, is that total portfolio value in the top left. If you just tap on the screen there, it will change it from whatever the currency settings you have it set to, to uh, Bitcoin. Uh, same thing for the 24 hour change on the right hand side, percentage to the dollar, percentage to the dollar. Obviously, if I had any coins added there, that would have changed. So the first thing we'll then jump up to is the first item off the rank in the menu bar, the My Portfolio area. Now, of course, I don't have anything in here, but if I did, I could select the timelines along the top like I am right now, and it would show me how my portfolio was tracking against that in or over that period of time. Once again, you can change the value, same with the portfolio change. The next one along the top menu bar there is your news. Uh, so this allows you to select up on the RSS feed button up here. So if you select that, you can choose what you want. So if we would add a few more in, woohoo, happy days, and we go back, it's gonna update. You'll notice there, Reddit's come through a minute ago, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Make sure uh, guys that you you are paying attention though to from reddit you're going to get heaps of things coming through it's going to use a bunch of data uh, if you're not into that kind of stuff get rid of reddit and just use some of the main um channels like coindesk cointelegraph etc for for i guess some bigger news that is coming through the next button is the ad coin just like the one down here we'll get to that in a second after we pump through this settings menu so show percent holdings Pretty basic stuff, guys. If you select it, uh, it will change your whole portfolio to display it in a different way. So rather than a thousand holdings, you know, worth a thousand dollars, it will give it to you in how much that particular coin or token is worth as a whole in your portfolio and sequence them from largest to smallest. You can, however, move it up and down side to side, whatever you want to bloody do. It doesn't matter, but that is just one of the features. Uh, so hide balances. Yep, pretty self-explanatory. You don't want to be walking around on the bus, on the train, you know, in general at the bar, showing off your balances on your block folio when you're showing your mates. It's not a good idea. And it's the same with the share screenshot. Don't go being that guy or gal sharing that kind of stuff on social media. It is inviting trouble. Remember, crypto doesn't bring criminals money brings criminals. We want to keep them away from your balances. All right, let's jump into the settings menu. So there's four things in here that's really worthwhile. Um, everything else is, you know, la-di-da kind of stuff. So the first thing's currency settings, like I said, 
AUD. I prefer it to be in USD, but a lot of my audience that is going to watch this is most likely from Australia. Uh, so we'll select AUD, but you can obviously select USD, etc. The next one along the line, night mode. If you are a habitual checker of your block file or a delta and you're swiping, you're swiping, you're swiping, you're wanting to get the latest feed, please change it to night mode. It'll help you get a better night's sleep after you put that phone down, if that is at all possible. Uh, so we'll switch that back. Enable passcode lock. I'm not going to explain that. Pretty simple stuff. Text size. Obviously, if you're blind as a bat like me, you might pump it up. Or if you've you know, got that super duper vision, you've been eating your carrots, chuck it down, leave it up to you, easy. All right, now we we're gonna get into the fun stuff. So adding in that value, adding in that fear, doing a couple of trades, mixing it up, show you what this little app can do for you. So we'll add a coin. So the first thing I'd like you guys to do when you do it is add Fiat in. A lot of people, oh, I, sh I shouldn't even be typing Fiat. Um, a lot of people don't actually add their uh, Fiat currency in. Um, they, I don't know how they go about it, but you definitely need to add your Fiat in. Uh, so I'm going to select Australian trading pair here. So the current price is $1 to $1, of course. So let's say I put in $1,000. It's going to give me a total value of $1,000 as selected there. The date of today and some notes so you can chuck in you know I bought it from BTC markets etc doesn't matter but it will help come tax time if you're chucking that kind of information in as well we click save boom there we are thousand dollars in the portfolio little picture of Edith Cowan from the $50 Australian note and if we go up to my portfolio if we go down to one day I should have had something come up but whatever we'll get back to that and have a look in a second um all right so the first thing that we're going to look to do from there guys is you most likely have deposited your fiat currency into an exchange you then would have gone about buying bitcoin or ethereum uh, to possibly uh, send that money to another exchange like binance or bitrex or if you're in Australia and you've used CoinSpot, which is very good for beginners, uh, which I'll leave a link down below, um, what you're most likely going to do is then buy the particular coin that you have with that Australian dollars directly. So we'll do both just quickly just to give you an idea. So if I go add coin again, um, let's say it's Bitcoin because it's at the top and you've got Bitcoin, BTC, AUD, you select that and you can select the exchange in here. So like I said, BTC Markets would allow you to put in your Australian dollar and then buy your Bitcoin with that Australian dollar. So you've got buy, sell, watch only. Watch only allows you to add coins that you just want to simply watch. You don't have to add any values in. I do that for heaps of coins. I've got a long, long list of stuff that I watch just to keep an eye on it, see if I'm going to get a good buy price, even set some alerts on it and go from there. So if we buy this... So we go into quantity, I don't know, point, who knows, point zero zero five. Uh, let's go back. We'll do that and do $777 worth. So then you select deduct from AUD holdings. So that will lower that balance and then add in your Bitcoin. So now you can see, guys, as a whole, my portfolio is still worth $1,000 Australian, but as a percentage, I have... 77% uh, worth of Bitcoin, 22% worth of Australian dollars. And if I show total holdings, there you go. $222 worth of Australian dollars left and your BTC, obviously, 0 0.05. And if I update that, look at that, guys. We have just made $2.44. I'm going to go and buy a cheeseburger because we are balling out here today. All right. What we then can do also, guys, is... You can use BTC to then purchase another coin. Alternatively, you could continue to buy more coins with your AUD, but I won't do that now. Uh, it is just something that you can do. So if we were to look at BTC, and we're going to click into BTC now and have a look at what's going on inside what each coin may look like. So there's a few bits of information here that we need to pay attention to. So the first thing is, if I select where BTC markets is for any coin, you can actually change the market. So then we can change it to 
that and you'll see the price difference in the charts there we go on the right hand side you've got the time frame of the chart so we can change it to a one hour chart or out to six months and you'll notice the percentage has changed on how much it's gone up or down over that period of time once again select and you can see over the last six months bitcoin has gone up over 12,000 buckaroonies uh, down the bottom here guys you've got the 24-hour market data pretty simple stuff the high the low the current bid and ask price uh, so that's the, the highest buying price and the highest uh, selling price or, or lowest selling price i should say uh, and the volume that's gone through that particular exchange uh, so 8.69 million dollars traded in the last 24 hours and my holdings down the bottom now you can swipe like this or select it at the top you've then got your order book your buy orders your sell orders and the latest trades that have happened so obviously you'll be able to see here if there's a good entry point coming up or if there's a lot of market manipulation going on with large orders in that order book you can add alerts so if you click in here now this only allows you to add alerts um, for the Australian ones is in Australian dollar if it is a BTC trading pair though so you've bought BTC with your Australian dollar and then you've bought something else uh, it will only allow you to track it in um, the respective Bitcoin value so you might have to use a calculator for that guys just to keep that in mind but it is very handy to set um, some alerts there just in case you want to sell off or do something like that all right so holdings is is probably where you'll come the most so like you can see here on you know today's date I did a trade I'll jump out of that I did a trade for 0 0.05 Bitcoin for that particular price and that cost and in green down there it's saying that I'm up 0.31% with a total profit at the top there of $2.44. So if I was to add another transaction, and let's say I was to sell this off now because I'm happy with my profits, I can go sell. You then can enter the price that you sold it at. So let's say for whatever random sake that Bitcoin went to $17,000 in the last minute, you can either enter a quantity yourself or click all of it and get rid of it. And as you can see there, it's got a total value of $850. You then have the ability to add it back to your Australian holdings. Once again, leave some notes if you choose to do so. Save. Happy days. Now, one thing you might have noticed, guys, is that on these, there's actually no um, ability to add your trading uh, fee in. And that is one of the downsides here of uh, the application, unlike Delta, which it does allow you to add that in. So one thing you will have to keep in mind is you know removing that either from the total value of the trade or like i said utilizing another app if you want something as simple as possible for yourself so now you'll see guys because i've done that sell order and the cost of that obviously went up we said it was seventeen thousand dollars that i sold it at because i am a wizard we've now got a total profit of 72 dollars for the value that i entered and as you can see, the Bitcoin value now, I have zero holdings, but in Australian dollars, I'm $72 up. You can also move them around just like this, guys. So you can select it, long press. I'll add another one in just so you can see. So we'll go watch. So if I wanted to put this at the top, whatever. Alternatively, you can click on holdings, click on coin and it will do it. Click on price and it will sort it. And obviously your alerts if we were to add an alert here and I'll save it for whatever reason what have I done du, 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 du. Oh, let's not do an alert on a one-to-one -one trading pair that's a bit silly let's say it gets over 17,000 you'll notice it's gone dark gray there beautiful other than that guys it is very simple stuff you add a coin you remove the sale you add it back to your btc holdings um, if you do have any questions leave them below but other than that thanks for watching